Now, this strike they called, uh, some say it's, it's something that is, is done when all ends have failed and that maybe a couple of the other threats or perhaps indications to government would have helped out before officially calling a strike in 10 days, which can, which can actually shut down the entire republic. Did they act too quickly? I don't think so, because this matter did not just start. Mm -hmm. It just didn't start. It was going on under the previous government of yeah. Dan Mahama. And I recall that during the campaign of 2020, was it 2020 or 2016, I should say. Yeah, 2016. Yes. One of the mantra of the opposition then that is now in power was to say that, look, when we come, we'll deal with this issue that uh, the Mahama administration has been toying with. Mm -hmm. And in a way, that could have been one of the reasons that they won that election in such a big fashion. Yeah. First time a party won with uh, almost a very million, huge mandate. Yes, yeah. huge mandate. Now you've come, and the promises you gave, of course, let's credit the government, it did try to take some actions. Yeah, in the initial stages. Precisely. We remember the period where uh, big machinery were being confiscated and burnt and all. Those were attempts. But unfortunately, those attempts did not register any difference in terms of, in fact, now as we speak, many people believe that Galamse has even gone to the highest level we have ever yeah. seen, yeah. you know. So I think the government should have responded accordingly by upping the ante. If uh, they, are, they are really uh, going up there, then the government should have policies to deal with it. But the fact that over the past year or so, there seems to have been a relapse in the government approach to it in itself has been the main contention of those who are so concerned about this. And I think uh, leadership is failing in this particular fight. Mm -hmm. This is not a party fight. It's not a labor fight. It's a Ghana fight because the implications of this menace is serious for all Ghanaians, irrespective of where you live. If you